perspective? Yeah, of course. Um, I think it was great being obviously in Bangladesh and I thought the guys did a great job. Obviously, it was some very challenging conditions, um, but the guys adapted and, and obviously got better as the series got on and, and guys scored some really important runs. I think, I think everyone understands that this is going to be completely different. Uh, like you mentioned, that the wickets are going to be of a different surface, probably a little bit more batter friendly, but also I think the bowlers are going to be in the game just as much. So I think we're all excited to play some cricket here. Okay, thank you, Khalid. If that's the only question you have, we'll go on to Usman Khan. Usman. Uh, hello, Matt. Uh, how are you? Hope you stay uh, going well. Uh, first of all, I would like to welcome you and your team in Pakistan. Uh, my question is uh, that uh, how do you see the New Zealand team is uh, touring after 18 years of long gap? So how do you see this prospect of coming and reviving the cricket in Pakistan? Yeah, it has been a long time. Um, I know that the guys are really excited to come here. Obviously, new conditions and um, we're going to be up against a very strong Pakistan side in, in their home conditions. So I think everyone in this team's really up for that challenge. We've got a lot of um, new guys to, to the squad that uh, would have gained a lot of experience in Bangladesh, which I think is just going to be brilliant coming into this series here, as well as we've still got a lot of um, players that have played a lot of um, cricket in different conditions in, in the UAE as well as playing over in India and, and other subcontinent conditions. So I think guys probably will have a bit of an understanding of what to expect, but we're um, really excited at the chance of playing here in Pakistan against a good Pakistan effort. Thank you, Usman. Uh, next we have Shashmi. Hi, Ed Hashmi. <clears throat> Hi, Matt. Hi. Welcome to Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, Matt, uh, what have you heard about Pakistan and, uh, and your feeling about Pakistan, a country which is a cricketing country but has suffered a cricketing exile? Yeah, I've, I've been lucky enough to play um, Pakistan a number of times. And I think uh, the, the Pakistan fans, as well as the players, it's always been a great contest. And I think, I, I mean, you look back at that 2019 World Cup, um, I, I remember that game as, as being a, a strong Pakistan uh, crowd. And it was a, it was a great experience. And um, I, I think it'll be no different here. We're obviously going to have some crowds here as well, which is great. So no, I think everyone's excited at Prospect. Um, and I think obviously even from Pakistan's point of view, we'll be looking forward to it too. And and what is and what what have you heard about Babar Azam? Because in that match you are talking about, he scored a brilliant hundred. Yeah, no, he's a um, he's a very good player. Um, and I think if you look at the the team in general, they've got a lot of experience and <coughs> in, uh, in their home conditions as well. So that's going to be another another challenge on top of that. So um, yeah, no, it's it's going to be a good contest. Thank you. Oh, hello, Matt. Uh, this is Zafar here. Oh, welcome to Pakistan. But my question is that, have you heard anything about uh, Pakistan? What fascinates you about Pakistan, especially uh, lots of people around the world have talked about the uh, fast volume of Pakistan. So what are uh, your thoughts regarding Pakistan? And uh, kindly tell about the Rizwan and Babar as uh, both uh, trend, but also talk about the uh, Baza, Babar Azam and Mohammed Rizwan. Yeah, I think across the board, the, the squad's got a lot of depth. And like you said, I think if you look at, uh, at Pakistan over the last few years, um, there's, there's been a, a great stock of fast bowlers as well. And I think obviously never been here before. Um, you can just, you, you think if they're producing great quicks like that, that hopefully those surfaces might have something in it for us too. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's out there. But I, I think, like you mentioned, um, not only Baba, but the, the, the rest of the side, there's a guys with a, a lot of experience and, and, and that are really strong as well. So, um, no, we're under, we're, we're doing our preparation and, and we're under no illusion that this, this team's going to be very strong in their own conditions. Thank you very much. Next, we'll go to um, Saad Ahmed. Um. Hey Matt, I hope you're doing well. Uh, my question is that the team which is touring Pakistan and the World Cup squad for the New Zealand, uh, we we can see some changes uh, in there. Uh, how do you how do you see this 
tour for the uh, practice for the World Cup for the New Zealand team, and uh, how much will it uh, will be helpful for you guys? Yeah, I think it's um, uh, really important. I mean, the 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 positive of uh, having that World Cup selected and having a lot of new guys. I think just in in general, in New Zealand cricket, just going to create more depth. But even a lot of the guys that have been here that are um, relatively new to the squad have actually got a lot of experience, and a lot of the guys do have international cricket experience as well. So, I think we're we're looking forward to this aspect. And in terms of the World Cup, there's going to be guys coming. Um, that are joining us um, that weren't in Bangladesh as well. So I think it's going to be great preparation for them and guys that are on the fringes um, that, that they can get some cricket in and, 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 and just when that tournament's on, that they're ready to go. Thank you. No Thank worries. you, Saad. Thank you, Saad. And um, Huzaifa Khan, did you have another question? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, uh, Matt, I was asking that uh, Pakistan is really famous for the for their cuisine, for their food. So, have you got uh, any um, thing to catch up in Pakistan? Uh, especially uh, if uh, have you heard about biryani of Pakistan? No, we have just touched down, so it's only day one. Um, we're in isolation, so we haven't been able to, I suppose, experience the full extent of the the local cuisines, but. Um, I do love my food, so I'll be looking forward to um, to getting some recommendations and, and trying some local cuisines because I'm from the start we've had. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be going to be brilliant. Fantastic, yes, I'm sure the the, the food's going to continue to evolve and be fantastic, Matt Henry. Um, I guess Matt, if I could just ask you a couple for for people back home. Um, just for some context, so can you explain? We've just touched down, and then what's the situation with the isolation? And then you're out pretty swiftly, I believe. Yes, yeah, so um, we, we travelled here yesterday, um, obviously on bus, and then on, sorry, well, obviously got here on plane, but um, yeah, then we just busted the hotel, and um, yeah, so from there, I've just been isolating really, so we've kind of been in our own little quarantine bubble. We haven't had contact with anyone else, so. We're just waiting on our um, our results to come back uh, clear, and then over the next 24 hours or so, we should hopefully get the green light, and um, we'll be able to get into training over the next few days. Yeah, and you personally, um, sort of a funny trip for you. You came early to Dhaka, and then have just been bowling in the nets and out in the middle, but but no real game time. I guess for you personally, is it uh, quite exciting to come over here to Pakistan, which traditionally have some quicker surfaces, um, and actually get some hopefully some game time as well in those ODIs. Definitely, yeah. I think I was I was always planning on coming over a little bit early uh, to the Bangladesh League, um, but I think with everything that happened, um, coming over early was was a bit of a, a blessing, really, because um, being able to get that prep it was brilliant. Being in lockdown back home and then being able to come over here and, and train and and just get as well as climatised to the heat and the humidity of Bangladesh and then be able to come here and, and, and be ready to go. So no, it's been really good, um, and I think, like you said, being here. Um, They've obviously produced a lot of good quicks, so hopefully there's uh, some some pace in the wickets. But um, I know it's going to be definitely uh, more batter friendly. But I think we're all pretty excited to to get into training and, and see what the wickets are like. Yeah, and in a general sense, the um, the team must be buoyed by that sort of last win in the in the Bangladesh series, and, and have come over here with confidence. How how the general sense, how the team feeling, and in, in looking into this Pakistan series. Yeah, definitely in camp. I think there's a, a really good. Um, buzz around the team. I think there's a lot of people um, that hadn't been to Bangladesh and um, that haven't played that much in the subcontinent. So to be able to go over there, get the experience, but not only put that into place um, really quickly, I think the the way that the guys were growing at the rate the guys were adapting was a really good sign for, for our players. So yeah, there's no um, lack of confidence there. I think everyone's just looking forward to getting now in Pakistan. We accept it's going to be a completely different challenge on different surfaces, but um, I think the way that the guys adapted in Bangladesh um, definitely was it was a great sign, and, and for the squad moving here with confidence. Okay, thanks, Matt. I think we'll leave it there. Um, thank you very much nice. for making yourself available. Um, I'm sure all the guys really appreciate that. So um, again, thank you, mate. The natural light looking fantastic, and um, we'll say uh, thank you very much, guys, and. Uh,